Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset your Toshiba computer back to factory settings. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. And you want to type in reset. Best measure come back will reset this PC right above system settings. Just left click on that one time to open up the settings window you see here. And now once we're on to the settings, you want to go and look over on the right side here underneath recovery where it says reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on get started. So when we have this new box that comes up here, choose an option. We have two options here. Keep your files, which will remove apps and settings, but keeps your personal files, which I would definitely personally recommend backing up any such documents or files to an external media source like a USB flash drive or CD. And the second option to remove everything, which will remove all of your personal files, apps, and settings. And that's the selection I'm going to make for this tutorial because I want to do a complete clean factory reset. So it's going to ask now if you want to clean the drives as well. You have two options, just remove your files, which is probably most ideal for most people if you're going to be keeping your computer. If you're going to be donating or giving it to somebody else, you can select the second option to remove files and clean the drive. However, like I said, most people, just removing your files will be sufficient, so I'm going to select that. And we are going to have to confirm that resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. All apps and programs and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on this reset button right here to begin this process. It will take some time, so please be patient. And once we get back to do some further screens that require some attention, I will jump back in on the narration.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Hello everyone, I'm back. So our Toshiba computer has been restored to factory settings, so I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.